How's it going, everybody? We started the stream a little bit earlier, but we were having some technical difficulties. Oops. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? <laughs> this is the first time we've done a backseat gaming thing. We started a little bit early to kind of work those kinks out. This is the real stream. So today, I'm going to be sitting back seat. I'm going to be having Shluby Snack and Mike play some Elden Ring. And I'm hoping that we can kind of have some neat conversations, some cool stuff going on. So please uh, join us in chat. If there's something you want to hear us talk about, by all means, throw it in chat. I'll give it a look. I'll kind of give a primer for Mike and Shlubes. And yeah. Let's uh let's get started. Let's see what they got going on here. Switching first over to Mike. All right, guys. Bit immersion breaking. All right, I am back. We are actually hey. live on Facebook this time. So, Mike, well, you you ha usually have a quip at the start of our stream, right? Why don't you? Uh... Yes, I did, and I already said one. Yeah, but that wasn't the real start. I just explained to the audience that we were having technical difficulties and we had to restart. <clears throat> so I. Just oh, okay, so we're restarting. Yeah. Uh, the carrot has been released from the buttery depths of my cornhole. The new king of England has been crowned. <laughs> well, there you have it. There you have it. I dare say, good sir. All right, now that we've seen Mike, I'm going to switch over to Schlubes. What do you got going on there, Schlubes? Oh, I'm just making my way downtown, moving fast. Yeah, since uh, this... <laughs> so I just figured, uh, and sorry that I you have to do this. Granted, uh, we already had our kind of little blowout of Screw Meta and especially Mark Zuckerberg because they changed Facebook and the way that you stream uh, within the past couple days. But please give us a quick rundown of what you're running and kind of what your uh, Elder Ring experience is. Yeah, so this is my second playthrough. So this is New Game Plus, uh, starting with pretty much maxed out gear at this point. Um, the weapon I'm running is a Moon Veil. I also have the uh, the Glintstone uh, staff. And I'm kind of just doing the meta build of uh, Kama Azure, or Azure, um, where I can basically run up and just Kamehameha uh, all the bosses. As long as... So just to give a quick example here, so I have this flask of wondrous physics, and if I go through and I use this, um, it gives me unlimited mana for like 10 seconds, I think. So basically what I can do is I can just <clears throat> take this <clears throat> and then just hold this beam on for about... Dang. What? <laughs> and then now it's finally taking my mana away. That's insane. Slow down. So <clears throat> some bosses will be stunned by that. So you can literally just melt bosses. You can just run up. And... Oh, there's a guy coming up behind me. They can melt. Hey, shields, I'm a little shields, confused by this statue. You are confused? Let's go see what statue Mike is looking at here. Yeah. Oh. That is, uh, that is the dead hand from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Huh, weird. Yeah, I mean, it has, uh, you know, the crown from Jesus and the robes <laughs> from that one Elton John show. Are you sure it's not Jeebus? Also, killing bald eagles. Yay. I am now wanted by the government. Yay. Hey, you're going to regret that later. Later on, they give the fucking bald eagles fucking swords. It's, yes. I fucking hate that enemy. <laughs> that oh doesn't surprise gosh. me much that they would give a bird a sword. It just seems normal. Yeah, they're For a from software game. It's absolutely, you know, normal. They're attached to their uh, their ankles. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh my god! I found Santa Claus. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, so pretty much pretty much all those uh, vendors. Um, after you get all the information you need from them and stuff like that, you always want to kill them, and they'll drop a uh, like a bell or whatever. Kill him? So he'll drop yeah. a bell. They'll drop a bell, and then you take that to round table, oh, no. and, and then you can buy all the stuff that he sells, and it gives you like 
other options too. Well, f- shit, dude. I don't want to kill the shopkeeper. He's just Man, doing his damn job. It's freaking brutal, dude. Kill him. Do it. Shalo- no. Shaloops is a stone absolutely cold killer. <laughs> I'm not a monster. What's what's I will the not kill Santa Claus? What's the main character's name in Nightmare uh, Before Christmas? Because that's what that guy looks like. Jack overrated. Oh, Jack Skellington. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he looks like that Jack. Yeah, Jack Skellington. Yeah, Jack overrated. That's right. Uh, I said it. I tend to agree with you on that one, actually. So, Mike, if you go keep going up that hill, there's a cave that you'll f- find, and there's actually a mo- a boss inside that cave. Oh it's- no, I know it's the wolf boss. Hey, look a toidle. A toidle. Hi, buddy. Hi, you know buddy. How to, you know how to figure out where you're supposed to go next, right? No, I don't, and I intend what? to find out eventually. I just found gold tinged excrement. <clears throat> Somebody shitting <sighs> twenty four karat corn. Yeah, that that was me. Uh, uh Oh, dude, look! Out on the lake! A testicle! <laughs> so, Michael, if you look at the map with, uh... Hey, buddy! Oh. Whatever that keybind is for you. Angry testicle! Oh, gross. They've got chlamydia. Oh, oh you're shit. poisoned! I'm no, poisoned. you've got chl- chlamydia! No! Uh, no! <laughs> just, My just, only regret I, is I, that I, I did not destroy the, the establishment. Oh, bug! The bug's like, ooh. You know that part in um, Batman versus Superman where he's like breathing <laughs> in with the kryptonite? That's, that's what just happened there. <laughs> oh, it's even coming off you right now. Like you're just... Get out of here. I'm gonna you're kill admitting you. it. Stupid bug. So you need to rest at that, uh, whatchamacallit, by the way. If you're not going to fight that boss, at least go... Oh, I will fight the boss. I just, I got distracted by the turtle and then I realized there were testicles. Yeah, well, I mean, you're you should fight the boss while you're poisoned. That'd probably be hard mode. Oh, for sure. Where's the shrine that you pointed out? Uh, that's back behind you. You should rest at that. Well, shrine. I'm sure there's one in the cave. I know where the cave well, is. Well, I'm saying, well, right there. I guess you could do it you, afterwards, but you can't. You don't get you, your horse until you rest at that shrine. I don't need a horse just yet. I'm just going right here. Well, fine. Be that way. The horse I'm doesn't going need right you either. Her. The horse doesn't need you either, all right? I didn't say I don't need the horse. Oh, what? Just that I yeah, don't that's need exactly it right what you now. Said. That's what you said, man. I heard you. I said no, I said I don't need it right <laughs> now. Girl logic for you, bro. You just mm. discovered your lost grace. I did. I said grace. <laughs> okay, I'm going to examine this uh, this crucifix of Jesus. Jeebus. Jesus. Wow. He didn't okay, telegraph well, pulling his weapon out or anything, did he? <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, I remember this cave because this is where I got stuck on my uh, last attempt at a run through on this game. Oh, really? This boss is uh, relentless. And for somebody just learning the controls compared to what it was in, you know, Dark Souls, it's. So after, it's just a bit stymieing. After you fell this boss, we'll uh, switch over back to Sloobs. After so I, I'm, you say I, it as though I actually will. Oh yeah, you're gonna kill him. I know you. I know you got it. You got it, dude. I believe he, that's actually a good boss to start out with. Yeah, I think he drops some good shit too. Hey, Whoa. that's a regular mob later on, by the way. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, that's why he's kind sure? of a good boss to start with. I was just Prize, traumatize them early so that when they uh, run into, uh, you know, 40 of these things. Yeah, yeah, it isn't 40, but there's like a courtyard that if you don't have a ranged weapon to pull them individually, you're going to be hating life. What's up, honey? Okay, I love you. One thing that I find and this is just I'm not going to be uh, as gripey as I was earlier, Shaloobs, but one thing that I do I just have a gripe on in this is like a yell is bl- is like draining my stamina when I'm blocking. What? Nope. Have yeah, you noticed? I, you've never used the shield, but I'm just saying like if you have a shield out and you're you're blocking. Oh, oh dang it. Ouch. 
But if you have a shield out, we'll uh, switch back over to Sloobs here. Like uh, let Beastman of Furumazula let Mike get my get his uh, get his uh, bearings back. If you're bearings. blocking with your shield and something yells at you, it uh, drains your stamina. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of a weird like I don't know, thing that they do. And then well, this one is also in the Dark Souls games, and just a general gripe, which I know that. I don't want to be see having our Dark Souls stands come in here and start saying we're just using Dark Souls. Okay, whatever. You know well, what I'm talking fine. about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right. It's the same right. fucking company. It's it's a Souls light game. All right. But mm -hmm. the the point that I'm trying to make is, uh, why is it when I have like an actual heater shield that blocks the damage that it's still giving me a status? So like bleed, for example. I'm blocking <laughs> it. Yeah, I'm, I'm blocking. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't know if they have any lore reasons for doing it, but um, I do know there is a stat for like blocking those certain type yeah. of effects, you know, like, right. Some some shields are better at it. Like some are just straight up only uh, uh, physical blocks, some block status effects and like frost or poison or what have you. I did not have a chat up so i'm going to put a chat up there for everybody's viewing pleasure i guess oh got greedy oh uh oh there we have a chat and we're going to switch actually over to mike he is on a boss hit him with the moon get him freaking get I him will, mike not because you told me to okay fine be that way Kind of rude, honestly, but you be you. I believe in you. Don't touch me there. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, buddy. Tiny Shields believes you can fly. I believe I can fly. Oh no, you're just getting. You're I getting got way caught late. by the FBI. <laughs> what? Pissing <laughs> on oh, a shit. little girl. <laughs> and I then made her toes curl. Uh, I forgot about this. I believe in you, Mike. You got this. You got this. No, I do not. Absolutely do not. <laughs> yep, see? Oh, okay. come on. No. Okay, we have chat on both of their screens. Just uh, give it an update. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let me What's know when happening? you get back to the boss. I'm switching back to Sloops. Sure, but same time, I, I, I just got something pulled up on my... So I might have fucked up here and forgot that the uh, oh. there's this giant crossbow up here that fires crossbow arrows at you. Well, flaming crossbow arrows. What else would a crossbow fire, Schlub? Freezing crossbows. Arrows? Oh, you could just strafe to the side and not go straight on. Well, I keep I keep me in a fucking I keep me in a roll, but I'm like forgetting to. Come on. You don't have to go up that way. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Is I fucked up going this direction, I should have just went around. But. I will that say okay, that man. part, some people might get annoyed at that, but I actually think that is good to have mechanics <clears throat> besides it, dodging it, in the game, you know? It's it's showing you that like you should be like taking a different route. Like yeah. don't just take the don't just take the fucking road every single time. We're going in the front door, boys. <laughs> that didn't sound suggestive. Uh, I mean back door going in the back door all right mike is back on the boss let's see what this third attempt is going to do this is my fourth okay yep i was trying to make you sound better wow so i you missed the conversation earlier and i'm sorry about that but uh this game definitely favors casters over melee so you're you're kind of playing on hard mode just letting you know 
Well, I mean, what's life without hard mode? Life is hard mode. <laughs> so we got Schlubes on a full-on boss. Well, I'm on a full-on boss. What are you talking about? Oh. Ouch. Oh, you just froze. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I don't know if the stream also saw that freeze, but yep, it looks like you were kind of freezing a little bit. No biggie, you're back. So what's the name of that guy? Uh Margaret? Eastman of Farum yeah, Margaret Azula. Bell. We're gonna switch over to Schlubes real quick. Mike, I believe in you. That makes one of us. Melt him. Melt him! Yes! Oh, he threw his little fucking blades yeah. at you. So, <clears throat> I guess he doesn't get stunned by it, but... He has magic resistance. Oh, that was an easy... <laughs> You're just like... <laughs> Eat it, Mike. Eat Later, your heart bitch. out, Mike. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel your pain, Mike. I was uh, playing on a melee character. In fact, I also chose Samurai, and dude, it's drastically unforgiving, man. Like, why do I they mean, even I, this, have to do it that way? <clears throat> this character started as a Samurai. You too can learn the Kamehameha. <laughs> yep, dead. Womp. Well, um, hey, how's it going, Rosaki? Have you ever heard of the Escapist magazine? The Escapist magazine, I have not. Okay, it's a video game tabloid magazine in the UK. I think it originated in the UK at the very least. Yeah. But uh, one of their correspondents uh, called uh, Ben Yahtzee Croshaw does a weekly show where he summarizes a new or popular game very quickly um, with a ton of very dry humor. A lot of scathing and oftentimes kind of unfair criticisms, yeah. um, even to the games that he absolutely adores, including the Dark Souls series, which is one of his favorites. And uh, when he did the review of the first Dark Souls, he uh, described every Souls game I've ever heard of aptly. And I paraphrase, uh, I was told that going into Dark Souls would be like stepping into a shed full of rakes. So I decided to go into the shed with no lights on and blat in the face with a rake. And then I figured, <laughs> oh, it must be just the one rake, and then blat, another rake in the face. And then I just keep going back and forth until I am becoming obsessively uh, rake-faced. And I'll be blatted in the face with a rake if that isn't kind of what happened with Dark Souls. Blat, blat. Yeah, blat. What a fun onomatopoeia blat is. Blat. I'm definitely not saying... Mm. I, those people that can roll their D's. I mean, that, that didn't sound good. Roll some D's on that, on that. <laughs> <laughs> you like, Jason, what are you saying right now? Oh, shoot. I heard roll some D's on that, on that. <laughs> roll some cheese on that Big Mac. The other day I was doing some... Uh, some minor... I don't want to get uh, attacked by the plumbers union, but I was doing some minor in-house plumbing. And uh, I was just like, I'm laying some pipe, motherfuckers, because that's... Hey, no wonder Mario's out of a job. You're fucking his union over. Yeah. <laughs> that's like a thing in Illinois. It's like you're not... I think it's new construction, though. I think it's new construction. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have plumbers come in and just be like, you mother, you're stealing my job. Taking food out of my kids' mouths. <laughs> fucking hate when I hear That's that. That's what people in Texas tend to say. He took her germs. <laughs> That's how they say it. <laughs> Mike, you gotta do it. You can do Try it. Try it, dude. I at least drew first blood this time. Not that that means dick. Ha! Rolling the D's. Hey. Um, this is, like, so unfair. I don't like it. He's faster than me and better than me at fighting. 
Also, I am playing with a janky old X regular Xbox controller. It's not even an Xbox 360 controller. Oh, wow. So that could be part of it. I'm just saying this game does have pretty good mouse and keyboard. Uh... You what? I'm just saying this this game has better mouse and keyboard of any of the other. Oh, uh, does it? Yeah, I would. If your controller is not well, up I would to par, still have I would... to learn the uh, keys, binds, and such. So, uh, that they're isn't pretty easy. Any favors. They're 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 not too bad. Looks like well, Schlubes I mean, is going up the. Uh... You know, might as well give it a shot. Oh wow, you're already getting to. No, that's not Godric. Okay, that's just the castle okay. before Godric. Yeah, no. I don't think it'll take oh. long to get to Godric either, though. <laughs> Razake, <laughs> you're doing great. Oh, you died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no. My point exactly. Okay, so space bar is to roll. So I'm going to roll through some uh, Reddit no, here while we're while we're uh, kind of in between boss fights. So here some here's Reddit? an e interesting one. This is Ask Reddit. Your user, and this could be any username, obviously. We don't have to just be talking. A I don't have a Reddit account. But here we go. Your username is a new religion. What are you worshiping? I don't remember my uh, Reddit username. I'm saying any username, your gamer name or whatever. Let's start with Snoopy. I'm worshiping Snack. the sneezy anus. Snoop, I mean, Snoopy I Snack. Guess. Are you are you uh, are you worshiping some some loogies or doing some, some... some loogies? Snoopy <laughs> uh, is actually a reference to cigarettes. Uh, well. Shlooby snacks are a reference to cigarettes because my friend used to always ask me, hey, you want a Shlooby snack? Because my last name is Shloob. Uh, Shlooby. <clears throat> you just, gave, you just doxed Shlooby, yourself. Shlooby snacks. I know. We're, we're going to have to we're going to have to edit that out in the post edit. There, there's there's like I don't know, 30 different ones. Good luck finding me. <laughs> 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 this isn't like a dare or anything. Don't don't find me. But all the Russian comrades are going to come after you. I did damage and got Hopefully away before they you hit me. How about that? Excellent job, man. Whenever I Google myself, I actually always come across this other uh, like person with the same name uh, that was arrested for murdering hookers. And uh, oh shit, I can backstab somewhere. this guy. All yeah, right. freaking I awesome. That, was, that is that one is but not the backstab to me. Backstab took off my my lock. Allegedly, I don't like that. Allegedly, yeah. So, uh, Mike. Yeah. Of your so your uh your Discord username is Danglepeen. What are you worshiping with your What uh, am I worshiping? Yes. Your username is a new religion. What are you worshiping? <clears throat> well <laughs> I worship the peen that dangles, obviously. <laughs> Rayasake's giving you shit, dude. Is it is I it left leaning, it. right leaning? He says boo, you suck. <laughs> I worship the peen that dangles, and of the sacrament of communion, I drink of the oniony nut sweat that is the hanging yams. So you're purposely going the more difficult route there, Sloops? Yeah, because, uh, actually, if you have, if you listen oh, to that guy, he tells easy. you where to go. Um, he kind of fucks you I don't know how you you're over. having trouble with it. <laughs> I don't think he fucks you over. How, how does he fuck <clears throat> you over? It, like there, you get some status effect applied to you or something like that. I can't remember exactly what. Oh, it is. really? Your status effect. <laughs> Starting to rage, boys. Starting to rage. I'm getting pissy. <laughs> Freaking rage. I can't rage too hard. My kid's trying to sleep. <laughs> I mean, he's in there having a shit right now, but still. Oh man. Oh man. Oh shit. What? Oh, we got him. Oh, yeah. Switching over back to Mike. This is what? Attempt number eight? I think it's attempt eight. Uh, yeah. So if you're just joining us, we're doing Al some Akbar, backseat. Bitch. We're doing some backseat gaming today. We're watching Schlubes. And also, Mike, play some Elden Ring. Mike has not completed the game. He's going on like an hour and a half, I think, of total uh, playtime. And Schloobs has already completed the game once. 
I've got all of one hour in I the guess game. It, it's not called New Game Plus anymore. It's called Journey 2. Oh. Okay. For whatever reason. It's rebranding. Oh, it's because it's not Dark Souls, right? This is yeah, yeah, yeah. this is Elden Ring. That, that is it. absolutely my excuse, and I'm going to stand by it. I it bet might the... be these crispy 60 frames Damn, dude, second you're doing some... Rates, but... You're doing freaking good, yeah. dude. You're appreciated, King. King? Yeah. That's the that's the fucking that's what you call your Is that friends. That's the slang of the week now with these no, Gen Zers. No, it's just what we I'm trying to sh throw you some appreciation, get you get you a <clears> blood <throat> thirst the up. Appreciation, but at the same time, ugh, rage. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> it Fuck builds him in me as though a child with Legos. <clears throat> Pick him up with your wheels. Except the child within me with Legos never died. I love me some Legos. Who's Those still little Swedish oh, bricks. Still here. Those little motherfuckers. How wonderful it feels to build a tower and then destroy it with an airplane. I mean... Um, <laughs> anyway, how was your day, Jason? It was alright. I did a respirator physical where I had to blow into a tube and no not that you freaking perv that's how I have to start my car <sighs> I think not I actually really. might have a chance allegedly now that I said that I'm absolutely gonna die hey don't be running into the wall man I'm why are you crouched to, right hey, now locked camera you're creates crouched. problems all its own don't don't crouch it is the problem and the solution dude you're crouched what? don't be crouched <clears throat> you move slower Lock camera can be kind of a bitch. Hey, buddy. You're, you're not listening. There you go. Now you are uncrouched. Hey, quit backseat gaming. Hey, I. <laughs> this is what I'm supposed to be doing, damn it. <laughs> Come on, no you got this. Gotta, you got this. Get him. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, that's... All right, fire Drake Talisman, that's cool. But, like, how do I... Wait, uh... I'm going to switch back gesture. to uh, Schlubes. There we are, okay, Mike is... I'll, do, I'll do that real quick. Rally and cry. Schlubes yeah, is just yeah, murdering yeah. mofos. Look at that. Or jump for joy, yeah. Woo! Forgot the camera lock. Oh. My character just yelled, hey. <laughs> I'm not used to characters in the Soul series yelling or speaking in general. Dang, dude. Oh. I don't want to return to the entrance. No. I want to get those first. I'm going to call bullshit. I don't think that the mobs are more difficult on <clears throat> second playthrough. Uh, they are, supposedly. Like, it scales them up. <clears throat> but, like I said, this, the build I have on here, I... Also leveled this character quite a bit, so. Oh, it's not. You just saw they don't. They don't scale based off of. Uh, oh sh fuck! I forgot these people are. Oh god damn it! So they don't Calcare. scale based on your level. They just scale based on the fact that it's new game plus. Oh. Uh, I did the thing. I finally did it. Got him. Yes. That I feel like I'm absolutely going to ruin this game. I by just doing a fucking saw wrong. that guy before too. God damn it! Has time Lock on. until morning. Thank you. How the fuck do I level up? Uh, the bonfire. I mean, the shrine of lost grace that I was just sitting at. Yes. No option to level up. I mean, Last see how my arrows time. like do nothing. Sword it's because I don't have that that skill leveled at all. Clock balls. All right, whatever. I'll find a different one. All right. This guy's pissing me off. I'm just gonna. Hey, fucking... buddy. What you doing over there? Sitting by this uh, this nothing. That was you dead. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Yeah, I killed a whole <laughs> boss in this game. You can fuck yourself, you fucking soldier. Soldier Let's see how my boy. turtle bro is doing. 
Where my turtle at? Oh. I thought you just killed those guys. I'm confused. Where my turtle at? There's my turtle. What up, turtle bro? Hey, buddy. Hi, right, buddy. We're going to switch on back to Mike uh, doing weird stuff with a turtle. It ain't weird when we're in love. Is it, is it, is it <laughs> turtle love. Hey, you should rest over at that slowly. shrine so you can get your horse. What shrine? The one that's directly in front of your character. That's a church. Yep, yeah, there's a shrine in there. But there's a guy over there that I could absolutely murder. We'll do it. And then I you don't... can rest at the shrine and then murder him again. Decisions, decisions, man. Oh, I could murder the same guy twice. Yes, that's a double absolutely. jeopardy trigger law right there. <laughs> You're doing doing it for the souls, though, bro. They should make a movie about that. They did, <laughs> and it was not really all that good of one. Where's this? There's a bonfire around here somewhere that I'm looking Dude, for. I and I agree with you, but I'm just saying I distinctly remember when I was in junior high or high school. Thinking, seeing that movie and the thinking, that movie was fucking stupid. And then I would go to, <laughs> I would go to school. <laughs> multiples of my classmates were all like, have you seen Double Jeopardy? Oh my gosh, that was such a good movie. <laughs> How the fuck it wasn't? Didn't that have Jodie Foster in it or something? I, I can't remember now, or but I remember Fonda the, I just remember that situation of just my classmates. What the fuck, guys? Come back here. Motherfucker, come here. Dickhead. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually seen that movie. Well, it's pretty bad. Yeah, just don't. It, just it, don't it's do pretty it. bad. <laughs> it's absolutely not worth the time to watch. Shalhoub's it. actually just uh, uh, okay, took an L I there. Cannot, That's pretty rare. I, I can't level up at this shrine. I can't do anything. What's going on? Oh, she didn't talk to you? I'm confused. Ain't nobody talked to me. What are you talking about? Who's she? The maiden. You talking about waifu? Whatever that. What? Shalubes. What? One eyed bitch. Yeah, yeah. Did she? You oh, already yeah, do that? Waifu. No, I didn't. I'm confused. I think I would remember if a one eyed bitch been to the church yet. me for snuggles. Well, he was just. He just rested at the church shrine. Yeah, I did. Ain't nothing happened. Weird. Look over there. A bat. Switching back to Shalubes. Well, I don't know where the fuck to go or what the fuck to do. I'm scared. Uh, open up the map. Okay. And then see the direction that the uh, that golden thing is pointing. Go in that direction. It's spooging. Spooge. Spooge. Oh shit. Okay, that was close. All right. <laughs> I'm going in that direction, but I'm just I I'm mean, running shit. for my uh, my souls right now. I mean, that's one thing that I thought was a little strange about this game on first try was that it was the first game or the first Souls game in the Souls Bornish from Software uh, series, if you want to call it that, that uh, had any sort of uh, guiding arrows or anything. Did you already kill the spider limb crab thing? The what? No. Oh. I ran past because I was looking... But I was looking for uh, the bonfire that's around here, the oh. site of grace or whatever, because I was trying to save where I was at because I was low on flasks or whatever. And so that's why that person killed me was because I literally was trying to use my last flask and I just timed it poorly. Murked. How dare you? Okay. So I'm heading towards the thing. Yeah, just keep going down that road. There's a, a town there that you can kind of grind out some XP because they're all those same mobs. I mean, they take four or five hits a piece to kill. Yeah, but Is you haven't really actually leveled up yet. really going to be worth the effort slash risk. So one thing that you should be doing is like sneaking and then backstabbing them and you kill them in one shot. I mean, yeah. I know I should, but... Just not my style, dude. I'm saying you're I'm not a rogue. You were I just am... complaining about the risk, and I'm telling you how to mitigate the risk. Oh, I know I could mitigate the risk that way, but that feels like cheating. 
yeah, well, I'm supposed to be backseat gaming, okay? So I'm backseat gaming. <laughs> Whoa there. Every, every time I see a chest in this game. And what I am I looking at now? I don't think there's a, something. I don't think there's a single mimic in this game, but even though I just That's got the mimic definitely feel, a dung beetle, feel, what's it doing? Every time I see a chest in this thing, I'm like, shit, okay. is that a uh, Plunging attack. He'll run away from you. Yeah, usually they'll I give you something. Say, oh. Crimson and Cerulean Teardrop Scarabs. Scarabs. Oh, they replenish a flask that I didn't need replenishing. How nice. Yeah, yeah. So you're asking something my, that they should have like, mentioned if I bought in this the, guy yet, Jason? I don't know. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's oh, switch okay. back to that, because that, that guy is literally what na nightmares are made from. Which guy is dead? So it's... He's a... a Crab, oh man, he's a crab looking dude. Oh, oh what? The fuck? <laughs> I got him. That dude. was just that was just bad timing on my part. <laughs> I should have just kept rolling. <laughs> now you have to sprint back. Well, actually, you you got the uh, the way shrine right. Uh, I did not get to it. I couldn't oh. find it. I couldn't remember where the fuck I was. So now I gotta roll through this shit again. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> womp womp. Rolly, 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 rolly. Rolly, so those rolly, ruins rolly, right rolly, there, rolly. there's all kinds of mobs to kill there, Mike. Well, I'm sure there is, but there's a Shrine of Lost Grace over there. And I would recommend picking that up, because then if you get killed, killing those guys, then... Yeah, then if I get killed, I can go back to the kilting. Yes. There's another one that's on the opposite side of... Like, if you take that road after getting that shrine through mm -hmm. the ruins, there's another shrine on the other side of the ruins. Oh, my. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. Is this where my waifu shall meet me? I think this is where I meet my waifu. <laughs> oh, I love to mind waifu. Oh, waifu, come on to me. Show me thine Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> yeah, Schlubes. Schlubes is getting freaking destroyed over here. Oh, never mind. I won't bug you. All right, I might just have to fight my way through here again. I was hoping I could just roll through, but apparently not. Yeah. Hey, you finally got twice. the. That's weird. America. I met my America. waifu. That's your maiden. <laughs> Ryosaki is gagging. I don't even want to know why. She, she is actually actually not your maiden, but because you are maidenless. Yes. He offers me an accord. Motherfuckers. Have I heard of the <laughs> finger maidens, huh? Mm. I'm telling you, dude, just going the other way is way easier. No, I no, I refuse. <laughs> I already made it through here, like pretty easily. Even I should have just went to the other fucking. <laughs> the guy's just poking you. <laughs> See, they're taking they're taking them out for me now. They're like, oh shit, we can't handle that. That guy's just rolling through here like you don't give a fuck. They're just like, damn, that guy must listen to Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stamina, don't fail me now. Huh. Yikes! This is a oh, murdered. This come is on. a murdered by words on Reddit. Uh, since we're regularly getting murdered in uh, All right, I made it Dark through. Souls here. So it says, my husband likes that I have gotten fit and toned after losing 50 pounds, but I want to be single and focus on enjoying life now. Should I stay <laughs> should I stay married or file for divorce so we don't waste each other's time? Wow. Sounds like he already wasted his fucking time. Yeah, like, let's listen to this uh, response. I think you'll agree. The response is, get a divorce. He stuck with you through thick and thin, pun intended. <laughs> he earned... He's earned a lifetime of fidelity and respect. He's not going to get that from you. The fact that you, that now, that times are good, your bailing speaks tons in your character. Don't worry about wasting his time. You already did. 
and it is too late now. It vows mean nothing to you, and his sacrifice for you means nothing. No amount of him begging you to stay will change that. You should leave. Don't just take the high road. You haven't earned it. You're not being selfless by staying with him uh, or offering to leave. If you want to enjoy life, go ahead. But the honorable thing is to build a life of enjoyment with him because he stood by your side. I'd wish you the best, but it sounds like you have it and don't want it. Good luck. <laughs> I sh- Damn. I <laughs> Damn. Hmm. All right. So I made it through there. That's brutal. That is brutal. I agree, Tiny Shields. Fuck what? Do I summon my, my steed? All right. Uh, maybe I'm, since neither of you are waifu, um, this is possibly not the best question, but we're going down Reddit and just finding questions here. So tell us your favorite anime so that we can judge you. What, what, we wouldn't be wife. Oh, I guess weeaboo, yeah. yeah. You know? Weeaboo. Sorry, weeaboo. Weeaboo. Yeah. Weeaboo. I was like, waifu. Yeah, weeaboo. Oh. I am going to be 100% honest. Fucking hate these birds. I used yeah. to love anime. I grew out of it because it absolutely was a phase, mom. It's somebody that you used to know? It is somebody that I used to know, and that, that somebody is me. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Hey, how's it going, Nick Daniel? What up, Nick? Okay. You used uh, to live down the street from me. Okay. I will. Uh, Nick is asking in Facebook chat to link the Twitch uh, stream, so I will do that. Thank you for the suggestion. Right, Channel. Whoa. Okay. So. To answer the question that you so dutifully asked us, Mr. Jason, I did watch a lot of anime growing up, and, uh, well, I, uh, I enjoyed one called Ah, My Goddess. I think I've heard of that. It is, uh, probably gonna get me a lot of hate. Okay. I regret nothing. (laughs) It was fun. Well, there you go. Yeah. So All once right. you start get back to some fighting, I'll switch back to Mike there. Well, I, do I just picked a berry while at full steed, uh, full steed on a on a speed. Speedy yeah. steed. Speedy speed. There you go. I was still anyway. I so Shalubes, you to... you don't have any. Laser uh, in the dick. You don't have any uh, anime that you would say is your. Uh, I used to like the classics like Ghost in the Shell, Akira, fucking um, Trigun. Well, Trigun was fucking uh, awesome, and it's actually getting a resurgence here soon. Or, or yep, reboot. Yeah, I heard about that actually. Um, I'm actually okay with the idea because it was fun. <clears throat> Cowboy Bebop. Uh, it's a classic. Everybody liked Cowboy Bebop. I had considered watching that Netflix uh, live action that they did, but then I saw the reviews for it, and I was like, no, thanks, I'm good. It's garbage. <clears throat> I think there's supposed to be, like, a summon. Do I have to use? I think I have to use one of these things. Gabbage, he says. Gabbage. Gabbage. How do I <clears throat> I'm gonna add s- this I'm going to see if anybody my... summons me into this uh, this match here. I am so confused Just by so all of this. I can get another this. thing here. Here's uh, something I I know we try to stay from politics, but this is just general good news about pharmaceuticals. So Governor Gavin Newsom announces California will make its own insulin. And I'm hoping that they're using that as a way to offset the skyrocketed uh, insulin costs. So that's that's good news. I like that. Loops, how do I add the spectral steed whistle to my tool belt or whatever? You have to go back, go yeah, go back, and then you have to select the oh, item. Yep, there you go. Yep, um, and then you have to click something oh, to switch it. I think Y it's, to it's switch. It's not pouch. It's an uh, it's an equipment. So go to equipment, and then on this row right here, this is where. Oh, oh I see. Oh, yeah. okay, I got it. But in there, doesn't it have its own button? Yeah, so it'll be in 
basically you'll you'll switch to it. So by using like the down uh, button on the directional pad, you'll switch to it. And then when you select it, you hit square, I think it is. And that will, or X. I don't use a PlayStation. I make good <clears throat> choices. Uh, X. I don't know why I said square, because I actually never use a PlayStation controller. But there you go. All right. I'm nobody's summoning, summoning me. So now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just beat this boss by myself. then. I figured I'd see if uh, anybody needed help. But what? New Who Game Plus, that? I only get summoned by other new game plus characters i think i thought it wasn't called new game plus this isn't dark souls J journey to journey to sorry. <laughs> sorry surprise chat isn't staying on top of that this is not dark souls this is Who elden is ring okay fucking name dude all right let's see if i just melt this guy or not oh come on come you closer. didn't even come hit closer. him Oh, He's gotta get closer. Freaking got him! Oh no! Oh, yeah. See that—that's the—that's the flaw with that attack. Is Yikes. if you don't hit him, oh you're fuck! You got this, dude. I believe I in you. I heard somebody's calling to me, and I can't find him. I don't know where. Oh, he is. he's a bush that you have to attack. What? Look around. There's a bush that looks different than the other ones, and you have to attack it. It's like a darker brownish bush. It's kind of somewhat in the open. To your right. Or I I actually found that guy. Maybe it's different per player, I don't know. But it definitely is a little bush that you have to attack. It looks almost like a tree actually, like a tiny tree. You have to attack it? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not one of those big bushy bushes. It's like a, a little tiny tree looking thing. That's even too big. We're talking it's like shorter than your character. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's not the tree tent. No, never mind. Dude, it's almost is like it on the tree. other side? Uh, oh, there it is. Go look what? slightly to your left. Go straight. No. That one? Keep going. Uh, man, yeah, maybe not. It must be in that group of trees there. There it is. Okay, buy those goats or sheep or whatever they are. Here, we'll switch over to uh, Mike. So it's over right there, straight ahead. That's it. Oh, this thing? Yep, that's it. Well, let's see what these messages have to say. <laughs> try attacking. Friend ahead, try rolling. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a fucking monkey. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? Tiny Shields is making fun of my big bushy bushes. Oh. <clears throat> I, see I, don't, I never found... I didn't find that character. That's the first time I'm seeing that. That's interesting. I thought you were like the I, Elden Ring Master, dude. Like I was not poking around bushy bushes, though, so... Uh, that could have been... Could have been related. There you go. So how about this website idea? You input the year you graduated high school, and the website generates a list of outdated facts and concepts that were taught in school that have since been disproven. Yay or nay? What's been disproven? I mean, lots of things. I mean, no, what was it you were saying? I was unable to hear Pluto you. Pluto is a planet. Oh, what? what? Um... Website idea, you input the year you oh, graduated you input the year you graduated high school and the website generates a list of outdated facts and concepts you were taught in school that have since been disproven. Oh. oh yeah. Pluto is a planet is one thing that's changed, I guess. And then There you go. I'm trying to think of something else. I don't know. Put in nineteen eighty eight. Let me know what in my life has been a lie. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually kind of interested to hear that myself. I don't remember if this is left or right. Oh, did I? Oh not my gosh! My souls. <laughs> Elon Musk oh. responds to reports that he secretly had twins. 
He says, he says, doing my best to help the underpopulation crisis, a collapsing birth rate is the biggest danger civilization faces by far. Uh, I could think of a number of other <laughs> fucking problems, Elon. A number of problems. Like, this guy is detached from reality, dude. I mean, we knew that. Yeah. I mean, his name's Elon. That's a traditional... Um... A traditional African name, you racist. Hey, that has nothing to do with race. That has to do yeah, with a well, funny name. <laughs> it is a funny name, I will agree. All right, all right. I'm putting that on. I put that on because it looks cool. Fashion souls. So I think this is a... a, a, uh, a you mean fashion rings, actually. This is a slow pitch here, but... Uh, I would say it still applies. Uh, Elliot Page fans want Star to replace Ezra Miller as the Flash. I think that's probably a good idea. Hang, hang on, hang on. Say, say that again. I I don't think that the fans part is that important, but the headline reads: Elliot Page fans want Star to replace Ezra Miller as the Flash. Does Elliot Page have anything to do with the Flash? No. Elliot Page was actually property of Marvel at one point hmm. uh, due to his inclusion in the X-Men franchise. Well, I remember them being uh, like... Oh, they want they... Elliot Page to be the Flash. I see. That's what they're saying. It'd be better than Ezra. Yeah, well... I mean, that Ezra Miller guy is a bit creepy. We'll just a say bit? that. That, that guy, that guy definitely does cocaine off the bathroom stalls in Applebee's. <laughs> no, hey, you're supposed to do that in Chili's, all right? He doesn't yeah, do it off the of bathroom stalls. He does it off of toilets <laughs> after freshly using them. Who plays the hero in Umbrella Academy? <laughs> Their tiny shields. <laughs> Elliot, Elliot Page, Page does. So yeah. the Elliot Page couldn't replace them. So they're just saying that the fans of Elliot Page are like, "Hey, <laughs> don't work with this dude." Ezra Miller. I just well, I just Elliot Page you... is quite a terrible actor. Well, I just want you to read read this, Jason. Just saying. Hey, read, do read not fight that guy, says. Mike. I just I'm just going to tell you right now that is a son well, of a bitch to fight. That's I mean, not like I one of the regular beat horse a boss. guys. I beat a boss. That's that not just a... means that I am unkillable. That's not a regular boss. That's a. I would just keep hiding bush. in that bush and avoid him. <laughs> yeah. That's... Have you even leveled up at all? Just look at what this. It's... Look at what this NPC says to me. It's Jason. rough, dude. What is it? Look, watch what this NPC says to me. So, maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. <laughs> Please take my grace. Grapes. My grapes. As in the fruit. Oh. I don't know what to think about any of that. I don't know if this is necessarily politics per se, but apparently there's a bunch of stuff circulating around Reddit, including a banner in Russia that says Alaska is ours. Really? Yeah. What? Like, oh. there apparently is some rumblings that Russia might try to attack Alaska. Just reading what the headlines are. I don't know if there's... Obviously, take take it for the Reddit grain of salt. Uh, well, right now, guess Putin's which here former Putin's here Soviet that. country... He wasn't aware of it. Here's like another one. I like it. Oil mine. This is literally on Newsweek. It says, Putin ally warns U.S.-Russia could start military fight over Alaska. Whew. You know, that really doesn't surprise me an awful lot. Putin really has fucking lost it if he thinks... Out of me. <laughs> Putin has really lost if he thinks Alaska belongs to him. I, he may... He, he, he probably is like, well, it doesn't belong to me, but I want it to. <laughs> no. I mean, is it like an oil thing? Maybe. I don't know. He's just wanting world domination. He wants to be the next uh -oh. Alexander the Great. I feel like there would be some irony if uh, the U.S. got... Putin is almost but... more of a man-baby than Trump. If the U.S. got invaded over oil, you know, considering <laughs> that. We... Yeah. I got an entire army coming after me now. What? Do it. 
let's uh, switch back to Mike here and uh, see how he's going to fare with this. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Come oh, me, that, that guy is not nice. I, uh, I hate those guys. I can tell he stabbed me twice. What's up, I was just taking them one at a time. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, but... You can thank Dark Souls one for me being very good at. Parrying. Hey, this isn't Dark Souls, okay? This but is I'm still Elder. How many times do we have to tell you, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> it matters not. I Get learned it. to parry from Dark Souls. That is my point. Oh, oh. Uh, well, you son of a bitch. Yeah. I landed a perfect parry riposte on that motherfucker, and then he killed me anyway. Yeah. Ain't that just the soul's life? That it is. Hey, look, a turtle with a bell for nuts. Where in the fuck are my souls at? There they are. Okay. But a hop, skip, and a jump away from the sight of lost grace. Or bonfire. So, uh... Um, call it a bonfire. Mentioning the whole Elliot Page thing, um, wasn't there, like, some contention that, uh... Who may, uh, why can I not remember the name of the company that made the game, uh, The Last of Us? Oh, uh, Naughty Dog? Yeah, Naughty Dog. That Naughty Dog use, uh, oh, um, yeah, I remember that. Ellen Page's, uh, likeness. Yeah, at the time, make, yes. Uh, the girl, yeah. That was that was like a thing? Completely different game. Was that a thing that Elliot did himself or? Well, it wasn't oh, Naughty Dog. It was evidently they... David Cage who utilized Ellen Page's likeness for a nude scene that at the time she did not sign off on. That what the I'm fuck? just kind of that curious on that. And please, month, I guess, just for the staying power of this video in the long run, I truthfully do not know, like, in the case where... We are talking about a famous person who did, you know, starred in Juno in that. And I'm not doing this as kind of like a like a Matt Walsh bullshit thing. I'm just kind of curious. Do we actually continue saying Elliot Page in that case? Like, I'm just confused. Like, what is the rules around specifically dead naming? You know, because I'm not trying. Well, does, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that. If I'm you're just talking saying, about the past, I think in some cases this is acceptable to use a dead name. I mean, wouldn't but that just I be essentially be like talking about somebody that died? Yeah, we should stick with the current, I think. Eh, it's yeah, hard to we say, should. Really, I mean, I'm just, and I'm just looking to the chat here because I truthfully, I'm being honest here. I don't know, and I want to obviously do the right thing, right? You want to be PC about it, right? Absolutely. Yes. Because if you're not, you will get I mean, crucified. I, I guess one thing that I don't really understand is why don't they just, uh, I'm surprised a lot of more transgendered people don't just continue to use the same name and just be like, man, it's a fucking unisex name. Because that would cause the dysphoria, which is like the main, you know, thing that they're trying to get away from. That mm -hmm. uncomfortable I would think they would just use of not being affirmed by their gender that they feel or that they but believe I mean, they're part of. They end up using basically the same name, though. Like all they do is just use a male version of it. Not like, in every case. case. Why, did, why not use a completely different name? But not, I'm just saying, not in every case. I know. I'm not trying to say all cases, but yeah. I'd say it's more times all trans than people. Not, though. Hashtag. But I mean, honestly, I've got friends that are trans that are not, that are not super touchy about the subject. Yeah, but you Very have to understanding to somebody yeah. who is not a member of the community. Mm -hmm. Very understanding like whole... that people make mistakes, people don't know how to act in front of them with their newly acquired bodily status or what have you. Right. Uh, and I mean, see, I mean, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. It's it's not that I'm trying to be hateful. No, that's it's... that's why I was asking, you know, yeah. just saying, hey, I'm not sure what to do here and I want to make sure that we're doing the right thing, especially for streaming. So, yeah, right. we absolutely. don't have to keep going on it, though. <laughs> this is yeah. already well. And I guess I'm. Not to offend anybody like that, but this is just me not understanding, probably. But as far as the whole like statement dead name, I've never really understood that concept. I get what they're saying, 
and it it has to but, do with like in the DSM five, the the main uh thing that it states is the there is this I think, yeah, thing called to me, you know the, the gender idea dysphoria, is to that, right? Well, but I think the idea is to pretend that they never transitioned, like they just always were. And that I mean? should that that is like the goal, right? Because the gender dysphoria comes about when they aren't being acknowledged for the gender that they feel, right? So that's that's sure. really what it comes down to is like they want to eliminate all cases where they could be feeling gender dysphoria. I mean, sure, but what if yeah. they were proud to be a woman until they realized that they weren't? Well, the that you stick with whatever the current iteration is because you don't want to currently give that person a feeling of gender dysphoria. Sure. Shall what? I touch you? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, Shall I touch you? Definitely don't want to offend people or, or make them feel unwanted or, or whatever, but I don't know. I, I think that still just kind of comes down to the whole concept of, like, us needing to accept them as oh that is that not gender. a friendly thing never, right there you're just gonna have some people that are always gonna be like okay you're a female but you're a transgender yeah, that is you know? not a big you'll friendly never, giant yeah and those people are assholes past that past that cusp of okay you've completely transitioned. i need to take out the crossbow and that's mean. like the difference between like what is known as passing or not passing or whatever when people and that's a whole entire other conversation, but yeah. ultimately, you know, I, I agree with what Mike's saying is like, if you don't know and you mess up and then somebody corrects you and you're, Oh, okay. Like in every case, I'm just saying like to continue saying anything else, you know, than what that person's wishes are just kind of generally makes you an ass. <laughs> sure. And I don't I think mean, any of us are doing that. I'm just mentioning for, you If you, you know, the genuinely didn't know any better and they get all bent out of shape on a first mix-up, then they are, in a sense, just creating issue where there it wasn't any. I mean, if you didn't know, then they have no reason to yell at you when you make the mistake, especially if you do apologize. Well, one thing and to keep in mind, too. Mean it. One thing to keep in mind, too, and we're all you know, guys in this chat. Uh, so maybe it's tougher for us to maybe empathize with that at times, but they're human too. Well, so none like of they, us, none they, of us are transgender either. So like, no, I'm not yeah, saying in chat, excuse me. I meant in, in the, in the conversation here, no, all of us are among guys. us. Yes, I know. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're right. Tiny shields. You're not a guy, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, but I was she just... is one of the dudes. <laughs> Yeah, and I've and I appreciate that, Rayasaki. I wasn't. Uh, we're we're just trying to flesh out the conversation of, essentially, yeah. you want to be as accommodating as possible and being as inclusive as possible, and that's really kind of the main point. Yeah. But uh, let's. So I just see uh, not to shift gears here. Uh, feel free to continue with the chat. We're not trying to squash it. We're all for open conversation. So Roy Moore uh, tried to sue Sasha Cohen Baron or Baron Cohen. Excuse me. Apparently, I know Sasha, obviously. Who's the other person? This Roy Moore guy. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm I'm right there with it. Who the fuck is that? Exactly. So let's see. Um. Fogos, blah, blah, blah. I'm just reading up here. Oh, he's a U.S. Senate candidate, Roy Moore. Oh. <laughs> uh, Moore filed against Cohen. Let me see what the, the lawsuit was just here real quick. Oh. Yeah, he, he showed up to an interview with Sasha Baron Cohen and must not have known who he was. Oh, <laughs> he, he basically got, he got Rudy, basically. So more, I'll just read through this article while we're, <laughs> this is kind of funny, dude. More appeared on Cohen's Who is America comedy show in 2018, less than a year after the allegations were first made against Moore, and he subsequently lost the Senate election to Doug Jones. In the episode, a fictional character portrayed by Cohen 
uh, submitted an unwitting more to a fabricated test to determine if he was a pedophile. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> on the show, going determined that Moore failed the test. <laughs> <laughs> After sensing the joke, Moore walked off the set of the TV show. He's repeatedly denied all, all accusations of sexual misconduct. Moore and his wife, Kaya, I, I can understand why he'd be mad, but like, come on, dude, you don't know who this guy is? Seriously? Well, I mean... Sasha Baron Cohen has made his career out of portraying hilariously silly people and characters. Right. And it was at one point, like, after Borat started getting big, I didn't even realize who Sasha Baron Cohen was. And I had been a fan of the Ali G show, but yeah. I never watched any of the Borat segments. Well, I'm assuming the ones you that I did watch, I didn't was a recognize real person, him. though. Right. I like kind of thought like, Ali G was legit. a real person because at the <laughs> oh, time I was like 14. Okay. Oh, okay. I was an impressionable dumbass child. So here's, here's, uh, <laughs> in finding for Cohen and other defendants, the appeals court, uh, this was actually the, the top, the, uh, he tried to appeal. He lost the original case and then tried to appeal. And this is what the ruling was here. So in finding for Cohen and other defendants, the appeals court agreed with the lower court that Moore's signing of a release form barred him from bringing the lawsuit. Moore's attorney, Larry Clayman, with a K, told Clayman. Reuters, I think that's how you say that, right? Reuters, Reuters, that the appeals court ruling was a travesty, quote unquote. We agree with the district court that the segment at issue was clearly comedy and that no reasonable viewer would conclude otherwise, the appeals court wrote in its order. Moore maintained that because he crossed out a line in the release form relating to any allegedly sexually oriented or offensive behavior or questioning, that re the release form should be voided. We are not persuaded, the order said. The order goes to say that. Judge Moore argues that because he modified a different provision of the waiver agreement concerning a different potential cause of action, the plain language of the contract does not mean what it says. We disagree, and like the district court, we see no ambiguity in Moore's release of all claims asserting infliction of emotional distress, defamation, and fraud, the only causes of action asserted here. Shot down. Uh, hey, Jason. What's up? Can you switch to my actual webcam real quick? Uh, I cannot. You cannot? You, your you webcam could. is up on screen. Oh. People can see you. Okay, so. well, my kitten was just licking me on the face. <laughs> and she is goddamn adorable, so. It was worth it. I figured death. people would like that. I mean, they can see Jason, it. I think this is something you could have a legitimate complaint about. What's that? So this is like, you have to do this to, like, progress in the game and this is all it gives you is this meeting place map and like there's not like a full screen view for it i don't think yeah but like i have to figure out where this place is I i've already done this so i already know where it is which it's so just over here in my but opinion to unlock this door okay. it's kind of dumb i think yeah so, i mean yeah and i i agree with you i would just say that that's not an elden ring specific thing that is just a lot of open world games do that and I really yeah. don't like that. I for, the game's long enough. I don't need a fetching quest to go to a fetching building quest. That's just, that's fetching, yeah. I would <laughs> argue that it's a fetch quest. Do not Science kill me, you those. pieces of shit. That's right. So this These is actually pretty funny here. Nuts. All right. Hugh Grant tweeted a request at activists and uh, Tiny Shields told me about this earlier today. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Requ he requested at activists who are outside Westminster for Boris Johnson's res resignation to play Benny Hill theme on their loudspeakers. It became the soundtrack for interviews with Tories trying to explain the situation to British people as well as Boris's resignation speech. That is rather funny. <laughs> I actually love Benny Hill as a comedian. Because he is fucking funny. Yes. Was? 
So he, well, it was. He, he, he Benny Hill. He, he's I guess like I didn't realize that dead. Benny Hill was a comedian. Yeah, Benny Hill was a. Uh, he had a show kind of along the same vein as uh, Monty Python. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess that um, makes sense. I was just thought, thought that he Benny was Hill known theme for was like doing a... uh, uh, fast or speeding up footage and making it funny. I mean, that's if you ever the, the if, footage if, if that you goes think about along it, with Benny Hill. But... Well, if you think about it, at some point, go to YouTube and look up. Uh, oh shit! Benny that's Hill's the messenger. Dragon. The messenger is a great skit by uh, Benny Hill. Yeah, and it's like a. Uh, a messenger has to take a mm-hmm. message from somewhere to, I don't remember. It's like somewhere in England, all the way to Scotland or something to warn of an army. And he has to run all the way there. It's really funny. Oh, wow. Uh, just looking at the headline here. Cause it's actually a screenshot. American girl releases first doll with hearing loss. That's... I thought they did that already. Could dolls hear before, and if so, <laughs> could they stop it? Or is so? Is maybe it's? Is there two different dolls? One that for one that's like born deaf, and another one that just maybe was in a tragic accident. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say like fired a gun without hearing protection or something. I don't know. <laughs> but... Yeah, they're just uh, they're that's just, they're just trying to be inclusive. I get it, but yeah. that is. A little scary if dolls can hear us. Uh, I would say reputation, repre- representation definitely does matter, uh, except for when it's about making money from that representation. Which yeah. American Doll, I feel, um, kind of tries to convey a image of like, yeah, we're representing, but by the way, buy these. Uh, how much does an American Doll cost? Like, you ever been, have you ever been inside an American Doll store before? It's I like thought you were going to ask if I've been inside American Doll and I was going to stop the stream immediately. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got something to hide there, buddy? No, I was just like, uh, we we have delved way too far. <laughs> I, so at, at Mall of America, they have an American Doll store and I was inside that place. And yeah. it's like fucking walking through a portal into some weird, creepy like thing. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not a 10 year old girl, so I don't. Hey, here we go. I just, feels awkward to me, but this is a very um, I this relates to the stream right here. Elden That's Rings. It. Let me solo her gifted actual sword by devs because he is a legend. I'll read through this article. here. Oh, do you know, who? I mean, so do you know who that guy is, right? Yeah. He, no, uh, where's a pot you know, on his head? You know, and... So no idea. Basically. He's somebody that was going through and joining, uh, like allowing himself to be summoned to other people's uh, matches to fight. Um, I can't remember the the boss's name, but at the moment, but uh, she's like she's the yeah, she's millennia. She's the uh, the hardest boss in the game, and basically he was joining their games, and it was just like you just sit back and you let him beat the boss for you. <laughs> it's just like let him solo her, and he was doing it kind, of, and he was pretty much not wearing any gear too. But yeah, he wears a pot on his head and he is completely mm-hmm. naked otherwise. Yeah, that is kind of fun. That it is. I, for- I forgot for this fetch mission. It's actually not entirely a fetch mission. It's kill a dragon and then fetch. By the way, <laughs> so I have to kill my first dragon now. So we're going to switch to Schlubes here so he can kill we'll his first dragon. Can... We'll see if we can make it a short one. Oh, I'm too far away. D- didn't even alert it. Didn't wow. even alert it. Okay. So I got it closer for this. So I'm going to read through this while we're watching Schloops on his boss fight. Wow. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> you haven't even got into your mana pool yet. That's insane. Oh, got him. Yes. Oh, what? Uh- <laughs> 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 got him dude <laughs> I thought I was nice. just going to do it all in one nice. there let's switch back to Mike let me know when you get to back to the dragon there okay. <laughs> that was awesome <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to read through this here so Elden Ring took the world by storm earlier this year 
But of the millions of players, one rose above the rest. Kalein Suboy, a.k.a. Let Me Solo Her, wielding nothing but dual katanas and a pot on his head. He helped other players kill one of the game's toughest bosses thousands of times. Now publisher Bandai Namco has finally got around to sending him an official swag box complete with a personal thank you note and a real-life sword. It's here, Subo, Suboy uh, uh, tweeted. Well, they sent him a real sword. Yeah, on Thursday, a long photo, alongside photos of the package he received. Thank you, Bandai Namco and Elden Ring, for giving me this gift and congratulating me for being hashtag let me solo her. In addition to the sword and personalized note that uh, was a cloak like the one Melina, Melina or Millennia. Yeah, they misspelled that on this uh, line. Wears the uh, like the one Millennia wears and some other trinkets. The package is similar to the one Wheel of Time author Brandon Sanderson received earlier this year. After praising the game at length, and while not unique, still includes a literal sword. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm guessing the sword was probably blunted. I'm they not sure. And then, like, a sharp weapon or nothing. The next news article you see, uh, he, like, fucking cut his arm off or something with it. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Now that I'm actually getting the hang of this, I'm actually having a little fun. You're about to do uh, Godfrey. Oh, am I? You mean Godric? I'm not, not, yeah, no, it's not Godric even. It's, uh, what the fuck was the first boss's name? Is it Godric? Oh, I know what you're talking about. The the staff wielding guy. The staff wielding guy. I thought you were going to run off that cliff I can there. see my house from here. Oh, there's another path over that way. This is supposed to be an open world game, right? I'll put off fighting that boss. Never mind, I'll go do it. Whatever, I don't care. Do it. Do it, I say. No balls. You don't get the, you don't get the. <clears throat> I just said I was going to do it. Fine, like, just do it. Uh, just do it. Sh- yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm in a building, y'all. Hey, a shrine inside the gate of a creepy castle. That's not foreboding. I am. I'm going to get another drink while he begins his boss fight. Drank. Because <clears throat> I feel drunk. like I'm going I'm to need a drink while I watch this. I'm. <clears throat> I'm just like sitting here waiting. Uh, Next to the dragon, I, don't, I won't start until uh, after he gets done with his first fight with him. Yay! I added a flask use. Oh, this is a good now one. Now I can do four. This is a a lengthy one, but I love malicious compliance on Reddit here. So. Oh, so do I love malicious compliance in general. It's just so much fun. Yeah. So recently, our <clears throat> OG manager who was fantastic just left. One of the biggest things he did for our team was to keep the higher ups from meddling in our day to day lives. As long as we hit our targets, we could pretty much do as we please. Want to work from home four days a week? No stress. Want to go out on the road and meet clients face to face instead of meeting over Zoom slash phone? Be his guest. Feel like closing all your deals at 2 a.m. every night and not logging on until 3 p.m. the next day? Why not? Basically, do whatever, let him know, and hit the targets. It was all cool by him. You get the drift. Because of this, our team works our asses off and constantly hits targets. With myself and a few others doing so well, we recently got promoted. However, OG manager leaves and he can't, as he can't take the stress from the higher-ups breathing down his neck about his management style. Even though we constantly make and slash, make slash exceed targets, I believe in you, Mike. We're going to, come on, do it. Oh, nice. Nice. I mean, you, you already know how I feel about the like normalization of like you have to be at work at fucking 7 a.m which why why does any business make you show up at work at fucking 7 a.m that's fucking yeah, ridiculous to me absurd. But, or even earlier but like nine's cool i'm all right with that but this boss is actually already kind of feeling <clears throat> easier than the one i fought already and yeah. I, don't, I don't mind occasionally having like to like join meetings like really early like i work with international customers sometimes and we'll have to get on a meeting either really late or really early. Um, 
right. depending on their location. So it's just a matter of it not being every fucking day. So I will just continue reading here, but I'm kind of keeping an eye out for Mike there. You're doing good, man. This is your first attempt. <clears throat> ah! Yes, it is. Oh, I, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. My bad, dude. You did. How could he is two stage. Oh no. <laughs> just, I, just gonna I feel you, like you need two stages. you you need well, to sure. kind of put something into damage, man. Like, you, have you been leveling up your strength or your? Uh... I've been leveling up my dex, which is what this weapon does for damage. Yeah, dex is all damage on that guy on that weapon. Why did I say gun? Gun. <laughs> all right, so continue. Have you tried on. a gun? <laughs> <laughs> no that's just a caster um even though we constantly make slash exceed targets they are unhappy as he is not doing it through their formula about a week or so after og manager leaves the new manager and pretty much another sales team are hired new manager is essentially just a yes man for the higher ups our super awesome workspace goes downhill we're required to be in the office five days five days a week nine to five given a set seating plan wow and spend our time cold calling, not relationship building. We do this for a few weeks. The older reps who worked for OG Manager aren't having the best time, as not only are we now dealing with this shocking environment, plus we have to train new staff uh, and the new manager on the systems, the product, meaning we really have no time to sell. Then we have a meeting. New manager starts going on about the importance of the new system as it will increase sales, which will turn in turn increase our commission now you get to the good to part now we get to the good part the head office lady comes down for the meeting uh she is quiet until the end when she pipes up saying how this company has room for growth is willing to promote internally uses me and points me out and some of the older sales reps as examples she then goes on to ask for the resignation of anyone who doesn't believe her way will work by 5 p.m the next day that's weird <laughs> Okay, uh, me and other sales reps who were th uh, there with Bye. OG, yeah, yeah, literally, uh, uh, simply comply with the request and hand our notice periods in at the end of the next day, leaving the company with a sales team that consists of a manager that doesn't know anything about the product, our role, and a totally fresh team of newbie starters who have no idea what they're doing, who will not get anywhere near the target for a long time. So the rest of it is actually edits, but there's, yeah, I agree with that. They're fucking idiots and fuck the normal corporate school, uh, structure. It's trash. So do we want to see if I can manage to beat this uh, dragon before? Yeah. Before uh, he can get to uh, the boss on his side, I guess. <laughs> well, I already switched over to you. Let's see. All right. I'm a little closer now, so I think it'll do a little bit more damage. Maybe it'll be enough. I just got to make sure I roll out of the way this time before it goes to... Oh, all right. Got to move, got to move, got to move. Getting crazy. Come on, schloobs. Oh! Uh oh It's uh -oh. over. It's over. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, I need my steed. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, here we go. I still got this. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> no. Hey, there you go. Lucked out on that one. Hopefully he doesn't reset. Hey, there you go. That's a... Uh... That's a winning strat. Oh, he's too far away now. Rude. You got this, dude. Oh, what? Got him. What is that attack? I don't know if I've even... Oh, no, I think that, that was part of my attack. Oh, that tree just fucked me. Yeah. You need some mana. There you go. He's just strutting. Wow, you can shoot from that far away. Damn, dude. Hey, maybe. Oh, apparently I can. Oh, he's got some little... 
Oh, I see. That's just one of those things. The little scarab things. Those are you can pick up mana off of them. Yeah. Oh, goddamn lock. All right, I need to move. Yeah, he's fire breathing. That should have gave me some. Yep. Certainly to your charges here. Oh, I might have did some bad timing on that. So what exactly are the pots in this game? What do you mean? The pots. They're like giant pots with legs and arms. That was definitely oh, bad timing. Okay. Uh yeah. Sweet, we can go straight to a boss fight with Mike. Uh, you don't see those until later on in the uh, the same castle you're currently in. Ah, that was a short. Quite short indeed. But that is okay. That is what Elden Ring is about. Short lives. Eight. I want to see a Bloodborne Part 2. I don't have a PlayStation, nor probably will I ever own one, because fuck PlayStation. Well, there but you go. I do like watching people play Bloodborne. Which also is not Dark Souls. <laughs> it is, though. <laughs> it's probably the closest <laughs> out of any of the non-Souls games. Yeah. I'm going to try hitting it from behind here and see if that does anything. It's Dark Souls uh, with it guns didn't. and Cthulhu. That did not work out. Oh, I did not mean to call that. All right. What's our, oh, uh, what's our viewer I was trying to do this without like? any summons, but I guess I'm going to have a summon here. So the other nice thing about this uh, build, by the way, Jason, is if you have the Mimic tier, um, you can literally just spawn a second instance of yourself that's an AI character. Nice. So like I could literally hit this guy with two, uh, two Kamehamehas at the same time. Get him while he's distracted here. Oh, he is no longer distracted. Wow. This is uh, pretty lame. So apparently, this is a this is a tweet here. Just a reminder that Amazon is not a library. When you read and return a book, it costs the author. It's June first, and I owe Amazon at the moment because people are reading through the Muse series and returning the books when they finish. That's insane. Yeah, I'd heard about that. Craziness. I thought they were all about like having like book rental subscriptions or something or I mean you can but I think the author suffers because of it. Oh, the authors don't really get anything from it, yeah. Well, I think if it's a, a part of a rental service they get like a pittance and uh if not enough people rent that's taken off the shelf. I mean cuz even with the library at least like they're getting paid for that copy of the book or whatever that they got from the library, right? I mean, I genuinely. Is there a single don't know author out there that but... like is anti-library? I can't imagine. Well, fuck libraries, dude. Or oh, that Karen behind the desk that always shushes right you and shit. <laughs> this is a funny tweet. Five-year-old wearing a tutu and carrying a broom. Dad, I'm a bitch. 
<laughs> he's like, whoa, what? The five-year-old says, I'm a bitch. I'm part ballerina and part witch. Ballerina plus witch equals bitch. He says, hmm, what if we called you a witch arena? The five-year-old says, no, bitch makes more sense. And he's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is pretty funny. You know, I'm glad there was that show kids say the darndest things, because if, if we called it what it really was, then uh, nobody would watch it, and his kids are fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I might would still watch that actually. <laughs> I mean, I would, <laughs> but it wouldn't get the mainstream love that it enjoyed while Bill Cosby still had uh, an ounce of dignity. Yeah. And when I say ounce, I mean ounce. What? Not some bullshit. I'm not sure that I believe this, but I will read it anyway. Do it. So this is in You Should Know on Reddit. And it states, you, uh, you should know that U.S. banks are required to allow you to opt out of overdraft fees. It looks like Mike really? is having some pretty good uh, luck here. Jinx. Oh, but I am absolutely out of flasks at the moment. Oh, so. uh oh, drip, drip. That ain't good. Oh, that nope. wasn't something you should have dodged into. I was trying to to roll under him, but I guess it doesn't work that way when he's got okay. a hammer. I'm not going to mention how good or bad you're doing ever again. No, that was all me, dude. That wasn't you jinxing it. <laughs> so um, the $35 overdraft fee can be absolutely brutal, especially for people in college oh, who just got their first job. Keeping a close watch on your bank balance is a skill most people seem to learn the hard way. Overdraft fees are an income source for banks. Almost all of them will let you overdraw your account and fine you by default. This is deceptively called overdraft protection. If you opt out, debit card charges that would send you into the red are declined instead. Anyone living paycheck to paycheck should seriously consider opting out. The flip side is that important bills may not go through. Missing a mortgage payment is a lot more expensive than an overdraft fee may be worth setting up a different account for important bills. So there you go. I mean, overdraft stuff is basically just their way of being like, here you go. Here's a, like, you know how payday loans are like fucking 400% interest rate or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That's pretty much what that is. I think. Right. But it is also basically just a matter of, Keeping the poor poor kind of thing. Like, what's that saying? Like, it's expensive to be poor, essentially. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't really buy, like, I think they even use, like, a, an example of, like, work shoes or something like that. Like, somebody who has the money to spend on a good pair of, like, work equipment, they can, it'll last them years, whereas, like, somebody's buying shit from Walmart or something like that. that oh. Thanks for a scam anyway. Oh, yeah, you still killed him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, switching back to Mike here. <laughs> it, I believe it does still count, actually. Yeah, that was, that was actually pretty cool. Twas I neat, I dare say. Twas neat. Come on, come on, jump at me, bitch. Jump at me, bitch. Your name is Margit. Oh, well, that was Lester the Unlikely. What's funny is the, the boss after this is so much easier than, than that fucking dragon. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mike, your uh, camera got moved there. Just FYI. What? We're staring at the back of your keyboard right now. Better? Yeah.
<clears throat> All right, Margaret, run at me, bitch. Come on. Wow. I don't know. This might be a, a little bit of discussion here because we regularly talk about how critical everybody is uh, of just about anything anymore. So this is that Jim Halpert meme where he's pointing talk, at the talk whiteboard. A, talk a moist critical or just critical? No, I'm, I'm just saying they're, <laughs> I they're know. always critiquing things. Yeah. So the Jim Halpert meme where he points at the whiteboard and then smiles. Um, the two two uh, pain meme says, don't go in expecting a groundbreaking piece of cinema. Just shut off your brain and enjoy the movie for what it is. Translation, don't go in expecting the movie to be good. Huh. Eh. That just in general, any movie. Yeah, I, I'm guessing just to, it was posted on Marvel memes, but. No. Uh, I think there's some something to be said about films that like are more intended. Like nobody goes into a Michael Bay film expecting fucking coming out of that thing feeling any smarter. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just I'm just here for the explosions, man. I don't get, I don't care about the the story. Right. Just sh sh just wow me with a really neat world and blow some shit up and. That's those wall. movies. And you are in possession of the all spark. Some people are into that. Some people aren't. Sometimes I don't mind watching a movie where it's like, okay, subvert my expectations or, uh, or not subvert. You subvert uh, those but... expectations, daddy. <laughs> More or less just shelve like any preconception I have of like, it's going to happen, happen, happen in the movie and like, don't expect it to, because, I mean, sometimes they do kind of just need to dumb it down for the general audience. I mean, yeah, like. Because it's supposed to be entertainment, I'm not like. Well, I want to like. Read a thesis or fucking uh, learn something, I'd probably just read a thesis. You know, what I mean, I'm not going to uh, the movie theaters to do that. But. I will also say that there are some films where it's like, OK a little too dumb like <laughs> like Beavis there's a difference the between there's a difference between well that's that's a whole nother spectrum of Beavis and Butthead oh, is genius humor, humor. The, actually it's actually pretty smart the way that it really is it's dumb smart humor like Wait, Mike Judge truly is underrated oh yeah absolutely so you know Something I just kind of realized when I was watching that movie. Does Mike Judge actually voice Hank Hill in King of the yeah. Hill? Yeah. Okay. Because I, as I was listening to uh, like Beavis and Butthead's voices, I hadn't watched a Beavis and Butthead like movie or TV show in a really long time. I was like, you know what? I forgot how much they sound like Hank Hill. And then right. Hank Hill is actually even he's kind of a character in Beavis and Butthead too, like Tom Anderson the TV neighbor. show. Yeah. He's not exactly the other character, but he... Ain't you the two inspired. kids that I caught whacking off in my tool shed? <laughs> he inspired <laughs> Hank Hill, I believe. Pretty sure that character actually inspired Hank. Yeah. That's what I said. Wow. This is in shit mom groups, say. This has got to be a shit post. <laughs> says, hi, lovelies. I'm currently trying for a baby with my husband. It will be our fourth child. I was wondering if any of you have name suggestions. I like Bacardi for a girl or Beaver for a boy, but my husband thinks that they sound too bougie. <laughs> I, who would name their kid Bacardi? Yeah. Bacardi. Yes. <laughs> well, if you name your kid Bacardi, you're just you're just copying off that one rapper. What's that one? Uh, we used to do it all the time back in the day. Um, it was a drink that you would basically like when you would hand it to them, they were forced to just like take a knee and chug it. 
What? <laughs> what? It was called icing somebody. Was it, it might have been Bacardi Ice, I think is what it was called. Bacardi Breezer. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat the question. So there used there it's still around. There used to be a drink that like it was popular at bars to like um give them like basically you trick them into finding this Bacardi ice or like a yeah, it was Bacardi ice, I think. And you either hand it to them or you trick them into like finding it or whatever. And it, when they find it, they have to crack it open, take a knee and drink the whole thing at once. I feel like if you named your kid Bacardi, you'd be like subjecting them to a life of that. Right. <laughs> Any parent that names their kid something like something that far out of the ordinary. I mean, if you're doing like some sort of uh traditional name or like a name that means something in the native tongue or something like that, then yeah. go for it. But if it, if you're going to do something like name your kid Bostwick or something, <laughs> you're just asking for that kid to get their ass kicked. Yeah, so Tiny like, Shield I mean, says they, they you, might get Air Jordans. <laughs> like, you hide a bottle of Bacardi right. ice in something and hand it to them, then chug it. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I was pretty sure that was a thing. That are my friends or dicks, one or the other, but your friends are probably dicks. Probably though. both. <clears throat> All right, this is for the some some dating knowledge for those that are currently in the dating pool. <clears throat> Veronica says when you're texting a dude and he seems into the convo, initiating, asking questions, but takes like 25 minutes to respond to you each time, and you're like, what the fuck this mean? What are these games? They're video games. He's texting you in between rounds of video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is a good sign. I've had Once so many exes of interest in you. I've had so many exes like be like, "Why aren't you paying attention to me?" Like, I'm doing other shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pause an online game, mom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if a guy is actually taking active interest in you and taking breaks from his games to talk to you, he's a keeper. There you go. J S. J, M F N S. Hey, I'm going to try to flip it on its head here. Mike, you're doing terrible. Gosh. Uh, I wish you would do better. Jeez. Oh, how could you? Oh, come on. Oh. Fuck you, you dick. <laughs> Margaret, you <laughs> fell omen bastard. We're going to switch to Shaloubs for a little bit. Mike is uh, he's getting pretty disgruntled. I don't know if disgruntled is the word, I can't Jason. perform when you, when you watch. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> well, I got no issue whipping it out right now and showing you how it well was. I perform, son. <laughs> This one's a, kind of an oldie, but a goodie. I'll just read it here. Imagine the Olympics. Oldie but goldie. That's the term. Imagine no, the Olympics, but, but instead of it being world-class athletes, it's just random people who get selected. Like, you get a letter informing you've oh, been selected for the National Olympics team, and you just have to do it. It would be so much more entertaining. Oh, definitely. Especially on the really dangerous ones, like the speed skating, the luge, bobsledding, ski jump. Why can I why can I not pick this item up? There we go. I hope <laughs> those people keep itemized your seats on their travel. Here's a pretty good one. There should be an Olympics where athletes can take as many drugs as they want. Like, fuck it, let's see how high humans can really jump. <laughs> that, that's, a Dan, that's a Daniel Tosh joke. It's fucking great, dude. I mean, that's actually not a terrible idea. Like Make it so, uh, okay, no, no, hold an Olympics where every athlete must have a certain level of THC These in their body, and then we can prove that marijuana does not hurt anything. <laughs> I feel like it has to be, like, certain drugs, like. 
though. Like, I don't know. I'm guessing that, I mean, meth can seem like it's a performance enhancing drug, but I feel like only in certain situations that involve cops. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> here's here's a kind of a a wholesome but funny one. My freshman year roommate sat me down day one. He was like, heads up, I'll be bringing lots of girls and maybe even some guys to the dorm this year. So if that scares you, grow up because this ain't high school. Anyway, he brought one girl back the whole year and now they're married. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, that is adorbs. These motherfuckers. They're just spamming, dude. They have, like, unlimited fucking mana. I just have to, like, fucking get one of them to stop. Do they fuck mothers? They probably do. They spam it, too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with fucking a mom. Just saying, moms need loving, too. Absolutely. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to any Christians in the chat, but I never um, realized this is a Christian server. Don't apologize to Christians ever for anything. All right. They are the root of all the world's problems. You my Jesus Christ, why are they able to do that so fucking fast? I think you're supposed to use a shield for this part, and I'm just not. That's stupid, dude. You motherfuckers! Oh! What? Oh! Where'd you come from? <laughs> I was fighting the ghost version of those guys earlier. They're freaking annoying. I was close there, Sloops. No, it, I mean... Okay, now it's close. Are you out of flasks? I am I am out of health flasks, yes. I cannot take a single hit. Whoopsie. Come on, motherfucker. Okay, Forget here we go. Here we go. Ten million dollars right now in your hand, but there's a catch. A snail is chasing you for the rest of your life, and if it touches you, you die a terrible death. That is that is such an old post. I don't care. Uh, uh, hang on, up, now. Ten, we're bringing up stuff. I'm just saying. Ten million dollars. So wait, there's some spe the specifications are: the snail cannot be killed. It knows your location at all times. Its only purpose is to find you. Are you taking the money? Do you, do you sure. see the tungsten ball solution to that? No. No. So basically the idea is uh, somebody made a really long response, very long and in-depth response of what they would do. And basically it was to um, capture it right away. And like the idea was like he always wanted to know where it was and then spend like however, whatever amount of money it took to um, like basically pay somebody to encapsulate it in a tungsten ball and seal it at the bottom of the ocean. And then also to like still monitor it, like to make sure it didn't escape somehow. Because it, it's supposed to be also that the uh, the snail has like set like sen sentient knowledge too, right? Like it's supposed to be, it always knows where you are and it's smart yeah. or something like that. I don't know. Average speed of a snail is like a mile per month. Eh, might be a little faster than that. Well, I'm going to put that to rest right this second. I just tabbed out because I'm tired of, you know, beating a dead horse here. Okay, let's see. Average. I mean, is it okay to beat a live a horse? Snail. I would imagine so. The fact that anybody's actually, like, recorded that. Zero okay. point imagine zero how, three. how boring of a day that yes. must have been at the office. Zero point zero three is the average speed of a snail. So that that's miles per hour. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that's pretty crazy. Uh, I I can't math. Uh, you think they had like the uh, the, the radar gun out for that, or 
zero point <laughs> zero three <laughs> times twenty four. Well, what I want to know is what was the top speed they got? <laughs> like, okay, in one, one day they don't even go a mile. Yeah. So I stand corrected. It's move overseas <laughs> after about I don't know a year or so. So uh, Tiny Shield says, what if you religiously drop salt behind you? No, it can't die, so it'll just go right over the salt, I would imagine. It might slow it down, though, if it's wincing in pain. Perhaps. And then how about train a hawk to snipe it? Still, it can't die, so who knows? The hawk might even bring it closer to you. That could be a problem. <laughs> Damn it, I can't even fucking cast this fucking spell. Will this thing go around corners? Yes! Damn it! <laughs> 365 equals 262.8. The snail will go 262.8 miles every year. Now, Do I have let's fucking see shield what here? we got. My equipment. Distance from, say, Burlington, Iowa, to London, UK. 4,127 miles. <laughs> from Burlington, <laughs> Iowa, to London, UK. So you could just train the hawk to get it, then drop it somewhere far away. Easy. Well, that's if you can train the hawk. You know how hard it is to actually train hawks? And uh, have you ever actually done any studies on falconry? Uh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I, <was gonna> say. <laughs> <laughs> I have, actually. Oh, here we go. All right, so in falconry, you aren't actually domesticating the bird. What you're doing is you're making it dependent on you. You're giving it Stockholm Syndrome, basically. <laughs> I mean, isn't that all pets? <laughs> like... No. I mean, if you leave your dog somewhere, it will follow you home because it loves you. Yeah. That's a dog. Yeah. Now, with these predatory birds, they cannot be domesticated unless they are raised in captivity. They will not trust humans automatically when they are caught in the wild. So training a bird of prey, and, and such as a hawk, stock. a what, what raptor like... of sorts, or even a falcon to carry something and not try to eat it a certain distance. And who's to say that this snail won't kill anything it touches that is living? Yeah, exactly. There's another point. So here's my thinking. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to... Jason, remember this number, 262.8. All right. Never mind, I got it. That's how it usually works. Okay. Whoops, hang on. 4127 divided by 262.8. That's 15.7 years it'll take to get from Burlington, Iowa to London. And that is assuming it travels on the ocean floor. And I'm not accounting for depth either. Yeah, that's true. So. Isn't the Marianas Trench in the Atlantic? I'm pretty sure the Marianas Trench is. You have like an absolute near the absurd amount of tabs open, by the way. Yes, I do. I know. I do the same thing. I open a bunch of YouTube videos that seem interesting. Why Marianas Trench is a band? <laughs> I don't want that shit. It's a band, dude. And in the original, <laughs> it's a band. <laughs> It's in the Western in the, Pacific. In the original Japan. Reddit post. Okay, I messed that up. Something that that's where I they dump the fucking the ball is in the Mariana Trench. Ex excuse me for not knowing fucking ocean. <laughs> hey, it's a I'm boss. I'm not an oceanologist. All right, so I'm absolutely just gonna go ahead and close the game. I'm good for now. You're good. You're you're tired yeah, of that I'm, game. I'm I'm tired of it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna desktop it up. And I'm going to join the conversation and let Schlubes have fun. Good. We've been watching Schlubes for a while now, so. Fine. 
Oh, hey, it's a puppy. Oh, that made me think of Seth, and now I'm sad. So, does your here's another one from Reddit. Does your stomach ever hurt so bad that you get completely naked on the toilet? I do that anyway. What? <laughs> Dude, have you ever taken your shirt off while you're taking a shit? It feels fucking powerful. I swear, oh, dude, God. it's a it's a self power move. Yeah, it really is. But anyway, back to this snail. Um, it has been decided, basically, not accounting for depth of the ocean if it were to travel from Iowa in the United States to the UK. It'll take fifteen point seven years. You can move from Iowa to the UK, live there comfortably for about 15 years total. What, what I mean, like, what about if about half a year to move back? The, the snail's smart enough to know about, like, fucking rail travel. Like, it can get on a fucking plane. <laughs> like, well, we're not accounting for that. We're, as described that's, that's how the in the Reddit gets you. post, as described that's... in the Reddit post, it knows where you are and cannot die. Yeah, that is that is it. It doesn't say anything about it being uh, privy to the, any form. I thought the Reddit post talked about being smart enough or something like that. I don't believe so, Jason. Can you pull that up? Uh, I. Uh, you could accidentally get on a train, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, it could be an accident, but that's not accounting for chaos theory. I have to scroll way back up to get to it. Oh, way I, back I've up. since I've since moved on, and uh, and Mike is over there trying to do a deep dive. <laughs> Look, I'm doing a deep dive because I can hyperfixate, dude. There you go. I swears, I can hyperfixate. Here's a uh, here's a, a wholesome one. Okay. Made me smile for the Reddit uh, thread here. It says my girlfriend and I live together. My day starts off much sooner, or it says as the headline here. Sorry, my girlfriend kicks me off Spotify account off my Spotify account every morning. I couldn't be happier. Anyway, it says my day starts off much sooner than hers does. I'm usually in the office at 6:30 a.m., which is about when she starts waking up. I'm one of the first people in the office, so I always put headphones on and listen to music as I start my day. I get about 15 minutes of music before it stops, and I get the notification that the output device has changed. This is because we have a Google Home that's hooked up to my Spotify account. When my girlfriend wakes up, she starts her day with, hey, Google Play, dot, dot, dot. So she has music when she's getting ready. I always just leave my phone open to see what she's listening to. When she heads out around 7.30, I get my account back. I'm sure that she has no idea that she's participating in this little routine, and I have no intentions of telling her. Sure, it'd be easy to swap it to her account, but I love to know that she's awake and starting her day listening to her favorite songs. Another benefit of this is that I know what her current favorite songs are, so when we get into the car together or when we're just sitting around, I know what songs will spark joy. Some days, I think she's on to me. We're both very happy together, and I plan to... Pro Plan on proposing here in a few weeks. I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with her. Aww. Did that, that make boss you smile? Extremely... Yes, it does. But that boss was extremely difficult because he moves around so fast in such a fucking small space. It's right. Like, Jesus. Exactly. And then this next boss is hilariously like easy. I say that and it's probably going to whip my ass, but I remember the the first time I tried it, like we just fucking immediately obliterated it <laughs> the last time I did. Tiny Fuck shield over. dropped off. No. Big sad. No. Big sad. It's so sad. Let's what? See. Fuck you. Stupid ball. Oh, did you see that James Caan died? Yes. Oh. Who? James Caan? The guy yeah. from Godfather. Oh, did he? So the first time I fought this guy, he was such a pain in the ass because he's actually like That's not requires what I was going you to for, really okay. know how to like, be blocking and stuff. I'm kind of curious how hard he's going to be here. Apparently not that hard. Oh. 
Talk to you soon. Okay, maybe pay not. The first time I fought that guy, he was fucking super hard. Notice that's the shield I use, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes another boss. Okay, here's a, a nice idea. Okay. What would you do if you could mentally inject feeling or emotion into others? I mean, if we're talking feeling, I feel like some people might abuse that. And I don't know. There's no reason why you would ever have to worry about not a. Uh, Making trying to think of a euphemism here, <laughs> but like you know, how like there will be a joke about a man or like something like that with their uh with their wife or whatever, like can't get the job done. I feel like any any man that had that power, that'd be just like the instant thing they would do. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. Here's here's talking about uh, awareness and inclusivity. Yesterday, I overheard a little kid asking their mum why I was using a wheelchair, and the mum simply replied, well, maybe his legs need a bit of extra help. You can ask him if he's happy to tell you more. No shaming the kid for asking, no treating the disability as a hush-hush topic. Yay. Hmm. All right. I dig that. What? <laughs> okay, this note was left. Uh, this is on mildly infuriating. This low note was left at someone's door here. Oh, okay. Um, dear neighbor, I was recently informed that you are not Mexican, but Indian. I am not racist and wish for all kinds of kinds to love and be loved. But I would like to inform you that we citizens of blank pay taxes to live on this land and you do not. There are Indian reservations held on your people for your people where you are welcome to be appreciated. This is not your place. You're not welcome in this neighborhood. I kindly suggest with the best of intentions that you consider moving back in a place you really belong. Also, I overheard a conversation with my son and his friend that said he thinks your daughter is cute. I highly su suggest that you tell your daughter not to dress inappropriately as it is confusing my son and possibly his friends. I do not think it is cute at all. It is a sin for your daughter to dress this way, underlined and in bold. Please tell your daughter... How, damn, how dare that Harley tempt them? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell your daughter if she expresses any interest in my son or any other young man in this neighborhood that interracial dating or marriage is a sin and is punished by God and highly discouraged. I have told the same to my child. She would be better off finding a young man in a reservation who is also Indian. She or what? what? She will be happier. I believe you'd be better. It would be. Oh, I believe you would be better you if you and your family were going back to a reservation with your people for the well-being of you and your family. Sincerely, a neighbor. Wow. What a fucking straight up biatch. Hey, can we just go kill those people? <laughs> By the way, I'm racist. <laughs> well, Jesus. they said they weren't racist, so that was all yeah. okay. That automatically yeah. makes well, it okay. Well, at least they, they made sure to say it <laughs> at the beginning. So that... I know that you're going to think this is racist, but I'm not racist. <laughs> Now let me just go ahead and say something really, really fucking racist. That's the same thing as saying, with all due respect, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, with all due respect, <laughs> automatically cancel shit out. Have you never, ever seen any movie ever? <clears throat> yes, I have. Okay, good. Movies are cool. All right, here's one for you. What would you do if every 5,000th word you said caused Nikocado Avocado to be teleported to you? Uh, like, on top of you. Uh, is this pre-mukbang or post-mukbang? I would imagine post. Yeah. Pre-mukbang Nikocado Avocado was just the most milk toast of people. <laughs> Miyazaki says, gross, cut my tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> J 
judgy wudgy, but for good reason. Uh, okay. This one's funny. So my stepson has a girl upstairs in his room that stayed the night, and my wife doesn't know yet. I'm curious on how he plans to smuggle her out now that the whole family is awake, and now we wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit! I forgot she can do the fucking laser beam thing, too. Laser beams. All right, how about some Am I the Asshole? Okay. Let's... I'm going to close that. Uh, let me find one here. Okay. Am I the asshole for tapping on a girl's shoulder at the club? So I was at the club, just the club, not any specific one. And sometimes when I see an attractive girl, I ask her if she wants to dance. If she says no, no biggie, I leave her alone. Today I saw a girl and I went to tap her on the shoulder because she was facing away from me and was going to ask her if she wanted to dance. And her guy friend moved my hand away, glaring at me, and told me not to touch women. I was just going to ask her if she wanted to dance, and she was facing away from me. I tapped her on the shoulder. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to hear in the club. Am yeah. I the asshole? Uh, no. I would say I, absolutely it was, I actually kind of missed some of that, because it was kind of hear, hard to hear. Because I was in the club. But I just know if you <laughs> were in the club. <laughs> By the way, I think that's four. I mean, that one's now. that one's a very obviously no. You're not the asshole. Yeah, that yeah. guy is for being a possessive douche. Yeah, exactly. Now, here's one that might actually work. Am I the asshole for how I respond when my daughter said she wanted to name her son after me? So the name sounded like the name would sound like Jungkook. But uh, maybe in uh, February. I, mean, I, I think my... that just depends on how you go about it. Other than being like, you know what I mean. It's locked, Shlou. It's locked. It's freaking ah, locked. Yeah. This is from a 58-year-old male about his 34-year-old daughter. In February, my daughter and her wife, That's 49F, told me that she had become impregnated through a sperm donor about three months prior. I was obviously very excited and said that I looked forward to being a grandfather. They did not have a gender reveal party, but notified me in April that they were having a son. This past Sunday, they invited me to brunch after we ordered. They told me that they had something important to tell me, that they were going to name their son Jonathan after me. I teared up and said that I was very honored, and I let them know that I had sold my Bitcoin in April to start a college fund for my grandson, and we laughed about the timing being good. Then I asked what the last name would be, as I thought maybe the grandson would have a hyphenated surname, but they told me that they decided to use only my my daughter-in-law's surname as my and my daughter's surname is already quite long without giving out my daughter-in-law's real surname let's say it sounds like kook or kukor <laughs> when i sounded out the name john kook i immediately realized it sounded like jungkook from bts okay that's anime isn't it or something uh, bts is a boy band i think oh do i have that right Oh, it's a it's an Asian boy band, isn't it? I don't know. Like... BTS. Uh, yeah, they're a boy band. The Bangtan Boys. <laughs> Bangtan. Oh no, I Bangtan Boys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Korean K-pop. K-pop, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 No, thank you. Here's one. This one's actually a few weeks old. I've read this already, but uh, okay. I just walked out of a job interview. Position was advertised as fully remote. I rock up to the interview and they say the whole the role is actually hybrid three days a week in the office. And they only advertised it as remote to get big, a bigger pool of applicants. I yeah. showed no shade, and I said that I would be writing reviews on Glassdoor, Google, and Indeed, explaining that this organization does not operate with honesty and integrity, and that my experience should be a warning to others who might be attracted to so-called remote positions. Then I walked out. Because how fucking dare they waste my time. I mean, right. Exactly. Yeah. Businesses, well, and because they think people... Businesses don't realize people aren't fucking desperate anymore to suck corporate cock, basically, because they're like, I need a fucking job, because 
there's so many other businesses that are willing to actually respect their employees now that right like sorry i'll go to a company that actually fucking deserves me working there exactly yeah. especially if yeah, you got absolutely. skills it's like dude yeah you're gonna seriously come over here and try to waste my time when i'm the one that has skills and all you are is literally a fucking business person you're, well, you're a and, person that literally balances books and but, uh, micromanages people. Like, that's all you do. Those are businesses that basically they rely on the idea that well, let's just throw bodies at this. Like, it's yep. we're not we're not about having skilled work. We're about just if we can have so many people, doesn't matter how many people just punching away at this thing, then it'll get done eventually. Well, Might I, completely fucking suck, but. I personally think that's what's going on with a lot of the creative industries and why, in my opinion, the quality has gone drastically down. Yes, it's because I would agree with that. It's because, like, we'll just use video games as an example. Uh, you know, lots of people know that 10, especially 15 years ago, when a game came out, it was fucking done. You know, like, but, it, it was a finished product. You bought the game. It worked. And, I, this and is, it was this is very rare. Curious. When was the when was the first game to have a uh, day one patch? What was the first game to have a day one patch? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, Dark Souls had a day one patch. It was actually yeah. done by the community within 20 minutes of release. Oh, really? Yeah. What was that? They realized there were so many game breaking bugs in it upon release that the community got together and fixed the bugs literally 20 minutes after it was released. At that point, I think From Software was still pretty small, though, weren't they? Not really. They were known for doing no. Kingsfield. They had Demon Souls oh. out the door. It was before they really made it big, big. Oh, yeah. But they they were by no means amateurs. Yeah. I'm gonna they understood how to make a game restaurant. balanced and everything. I mean, Demon Souls was a pretty solid game even on first release before the remaster. Okay, here's a fun one. Uh... <clears throat> You find yourself transported to one million years ago, and you encounter a cute Australopithecus girl, who you can tell is definitely DTF. Do you reciprocate? Why or why not? What the fuck is an Australopithecus girl? I don't understand. Uh, they are one of the links in the in the Ella evolutionary chain. Oh, so like a pre-human? Yeah, pre-human. They were like pre. Uh, how do I put this? They were like pre, pre, pre Neanderthal. Uh, I probably not because I'm married. But <laughs> okay, I mean that's a fair answer. Try to try to not come back on the stream, zipping my pants up. <laughs> if you'll pardon me, gentlemen, I am needed. Well, I'm just saying that we're damn pickle jar. Whenever Mike gets back, uh, we will probably oh, talk about me like I'm not here. Jeez, oh, I didn't. I, I thought you said you were leaving. I am for a second, but I'm not gone yet. Okay, well, go ahead. Gone now. Let's switch back to like, Schlubes here. Like, right ah. Wait, so is he leaving us for good? No, but we are going to when he comes back probably conclude the stream here because it is getting a bit, a bit late. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, but I say next time we do this, first off, we need to figure out how to stream the audio of <clears throat> the game audio. The game. Yeah. And then also, um, I say we start probably like 730 or 8 yeah. with you. And then, uh, I mean, we could also, I aren't, aren't we going to be doing Zomboid? Uh, are we doing that for the next game stream? I mean, we had talked about it, but we can do whatever. We're just trying. We to... just need to take some time be beforehand to actually set up the campaign or whatever. Like, actually, yeah. if we're trying to do what we were talking about before, I don't want to give away spoilers, but right. Yeah, I, I would say we could do that or I mean, I'm fine with uh, doing some more Elden Ring or we can choose a different game that potentially all of us I have. Mean... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to as far as Elden Ring goes. Is, I, I'm probably keep playing through this playthrough because this is, I feel like I 
took a addictive drug again here, but uh, okay. <laughs> so um, the I mean, return, like, so I, I blew through like five bosses here, I think. And yeah. Since I was what, gone? How long have we been on? Like two hours? Uh, it's been almost three. Almost three. I mean, yeah. still, but <clears throat> like I'm, I'm at the like the middle point of the game. Oh, it's I feel like I could I could beat this in like stream. I could completely beat this probably in two more sessions as far as uh, like this current playthrough goes. Oh, yeah. Two hours, 15 minutes since Jason reset the stream. I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. reset it. Uh, well, I'm going to go okay. to the. Just camera feed here. So oh. what do you guys think? You think that was a, a cool backseat gaming session there? I would say so. I mean, I got all upset. I got upset spaghetti. Yeah. That was uh, definitely Ryusaki one. Ryusaki seemed we... to enjoy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the it. way, maybe one thing I would change in the future is like, and if since it's backseat gaming, you like make it look like we're all in a car and you're actually literally in the backseat while we play. <laughs> yeah, I can maybe make that happen. <laughs> all right. Well, Mike, well, any final fun. comments? Wash thy balls, peasants. What about you, Shloops? Well, so I didn't reveal this at the beginning of the stream, but um, my character is actually uh, inspired by Pete Davidson. I believe this is what he would be like uh, oh. within the Elden Ring world. Yeah. But that's actually a complete lie, but <laughs> yeah, he's. We'll make that the we'll make that the lore now. This your, is Pete Davidson. Your character is mm. a lot more attractive than him, so. My <laughs> character is definitely Kanye West. <laughs> Never succeeding, but always trying. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna switch to me really quick. Oh. And then uh, just to. Let everybody know that to this week and every other week from this week, we are going to be doing just, just continuing to do the game streaming. Sometimes it'll be back uh, seat, yeah, back street, back street. It's back. All right. But uh, back I was about seat. to say that, damn it. <laughs> back seat gaming. Is, is there a back street boys like themed game that we could play? <laughs> there should be. Uh, well, I'm going to look real quick. We've we're, got a little we're, time. So. We're starting conversation. We're, we're, we're done, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to conclude here. So anyway, you're the, you're the one that brought it up. Yeah, I just said back streets back. All right. That's it. So uh, if this is content that you like, please consider following us over on Twitch. Please consider liking Ooh. us on Facebook. We try our best to kind of uh, post some funny things, some funny memes, <clears throat> things like that. So please uh, give us a follow there. We also do most of our announcements, excuse me, announcements on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash squeeze the box. And yeah, I just want to say I really enjoyed this stream and hopefully <clears throat> we can, uh, you know, do some more stuff like this. Uh, last announcement, though, so. last announcement next week on the podcast, we're going to be doing badasses of history and we will have five of us again. We'll have the return of Dylan and also uh, Catonic or Lance whichever you uh, prefer to call him by. So we should have some fun ones there. I think we've got some famous samurai, famous shinobi, famous people from history who were also badasses. So be on the lookout for that next week, 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Side note before we go, I discovered there is a Backstreet Boys video game called Puzzles in Motion. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Bye, y'all. Later. Look forward to that. <laughs>